I am Anil Kumar and we will understand derivative of composite functions with this video. Use chain rule in prime notation to find derivative of h of x equals to cube root of x square plus 2 at x equals to 5. So to make h of x as a composite function, let's break this function cube root of x square plus 2 as composition of two functions. Consider one function as let us say f of x equals to cube root of some function let's say g of x right where g of x is equal to x square plus 2 right so now you can say what is h of x so h of x is f of g of x do you see that so that is how you can form a composition of a function right so I hope you understand how to write function as a composite function and now we'll also understand how to find derivative of this function right now let me give you the formula here derivative of composite function will be derivative of this function g of x times derivative of inside function so that is the formula for finding the derivative of a composite function right so we need to find derivative of g the inside function and outside function multiply them together to get the answer correct so let's begin by finding derivative of each separately so what we have here is that we have f of x equals to cube root of g of x correct so so derivative f dash x for this function is equals to this is you can write this as g of x to the power of 1 over 3 let's apply the power rules we get 1 over 3 g of x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 so minus 2 over 3 right so that is f dash x now g of x for us is equal to x square plus 2 x square plus 2 so g dash x derivative of gx is 2x now what is the derivative of h which is a com combination of these functions so h dash x is equals to product of derivatives of these two right so product of this and this so what we get here is 1 over 3 g of x to the power of minus 2 over 3 times 2x right the derivative of g of x now you can replace g of x with x square plus 2 and then write down your answer so you get here if i replace g of x with x square plus 2 what do i get i got 1 over 3 x square plus 2 to the power of minus 2 over 3 times 2x which is equal to 2x over 3 times so we can bring it in the denominator cube root of let me write within brackets let me write like this right x square plus 2 whole square you get the idea right so that is how you could find the derivative of h of x right now part 3 or uh, what we really need to find is the derivative of h at x equals to 5 so let us now substitute x equals to 5 and find the answer so so what we have is the derivative for x equal at h x at x equals to 5 will be we'll substitute 5 for x in this particular case correct so we get 2 times 5 which is 10 divided by 3 times cube root of 5 square of 5 square plus 2 right 5 square plus 2 so that is equal to 10 divided by 3 times 5 square is 25 plus 2 this is square here right so 25 plus 2 is 27 so we have cube root of 27 square cube root of 27 is 3 so we get 3 square there right so we get 10 over 3 times 3 square right which is 10 over 27 
So 10 over 27 is, is the value of derivative of this function at x equals to 5, right? So that is how we could find our solution. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.